One in four older adults fell in the year of 2014 at a rate of one fall per second. Falling is the number one cause of hip fractures as well as immobility in older people. In the year 2016, there were 20,500 cases of reported missing children in America and 1.3 million children worldwide. That's 3,600 kids per day. One in six American women have been a victim of rape and have a 30% chance of being raped in her lifetime. It's easy to see that there are many situations that can arise that we aren't always the best equipped to deal with on our own. In fact, there are many times that having an extra set of eyes would make us feel more secure. What if we could have something keeping track of us autonomously? This is Ward. Ward is an expert in detecting falls or violence, your heart rate, as well as wandering too far off. It is an all-around smart awareness system that works for you and provides feedback on current status and condition. Tracking these parameters and having them work together can give Ward an assessment on your current condition and can act on your behalf when you are in questionable situations and can alert emergency contacts of your choice autonomously. Well, how does something like this work? Well, Ward is a discrete wearable device. It is the extra set of eyes that can help you feel more secure when you're alone. It's a device that can keep you, your kids, your parents, and your friends safe. Using the accelerometer to determine and understand different bodily movements, such as free fall, regular activity, and inactivity, it understands these movements and through intricate algorithm is able to detect when you've experienced a fall and have become immobile. This algorithm works in tandem with the heart rate sensor to see if the user is experiencing irregular heart rate given their activity or inactivity. The microcontroller routes all the data and connects with your mobile phone via Bluetooth and can communicate with your phone to understand your position or proximity to the phone. For children that like to wander off, this can give an alert to the user with the mobile phone that Ward is no longer within proximity. This is all easily accessible through the Ward's mobile application, which can allow you to send an emergency message directly, uh, sign emergency contacts, connect the Ward, and set up personal alerts. The microcontroller NRF51 was selected due to its low energy Bluetooth module, which will perform well when connected with the mobile device. The desire to have a device that could be powered without charging for longer than a day is necessary for completeness of the product. The package is a part of a development board that allows debugging via micro USB and can easily connect with the various peripherals that the microcontroller will be interfacing with. The accelerometer we chose, the ADXL345, is set up in I2C. This example shows the simplicity of using the NRF51 with any sensor device. The SDA and SCL are both pulled up, and the INT1 pin sends a signal to the microcontroller whenever the device experiences a fall or inactivity. A threshold of 400 millijs, or for Gs of acceleration, with a time of 400 nanoseconds were chosen for the fall parameters indicating the person has fallen. Once the microcontroller receives an interrupt from the accelerometer, it will read the ADXL345 register and return wiping them and check the fall register. If this occurs, um, the app will receive a fall message and the app will send a text message to the user contact. Essentially, after sending uh, correct values to the register on the ADXL345, the microcontroller is just waiting for an interrupt. And afterwards, the NRF51 can send a message to the mobile application in order for it to send the text message. In addition to the accelerometer, an LED will toggle on and off with 300 millijs in all XYZ directions for 10 seconds. This is what we use to detect the inactivity after falling. This can be used personally as detecting how long the user has gone without moving. In other cases, the user may have fallen or there was a false detection in which the user was performing some other activity. In this case, a switch can be pressed to send a false alarm message to the mobile device. Ward was created to help people not just feel more secure, but actually have the security as if they had someone there to keep them safe.